and uh, We're live. welcome to the show, episode four of the uh, Is This Entertainment? Is this entertainment? Is this entertainment podcast? This- we did it. We made it to four episodes. <laughs> That's pretty impressive. Lock it in. Yeah, we should we get we should get the check mark. <laughs> yeah. Speaking of which, make sure you uh, do all the things. And yep. uh, let's give us that like. Let's get started with the episode chapter 13 of The Mandalorian is called The Jedi. The Jedi. It's a big one. It's a, it's a big one. Yeah, it's a biggie. It's a big deal. It, it's a big deal. It might even break the Star Wars universe as we know it. We'll get into it in a second. Let's start out with the uh, the big fight scene with Ahsoka. Uh, yeah. Pre the fight scene, just the reveal. Like, I mean, I realized it was a terribly kept secret. You know, the internet knew who Rosario Dawson was playing a long time ago, but just having it actually happen and just like, no, not being coy about it at all from the beginning. They were like, we're going to show you Ahsoka and we're going to show you, uh, show you Ahsoka kicking some major butt. Shredding people. A little murdery. A little murdery. Yeah. I don't, I don't hate it. I don't hate it. You know, it's it's about time somebody showed what actually happens when you get hit with a lightsaber. <laughs> true, true. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, appreciate it. W- it wasn't it. full-blown, like, James Mangold's Logan, you know, showing what happens when Wolverine actually stabs people in the face. Right. Uh, it wasn't that hardcore, but it was definitely more so than, you know, Attack of the Clones. The bad guys here, they all mostly wore masks, so you didn't have to see their faces. Uh, didn't as, didn't humanize as they were, them at all. Didn't humanize them. So as, nobody as feels much. bad. No guilt. Murder without the guilt. This um, is just video game murder. That's all we're seeing. Exactly. Speaking of which, the whole show feels kind of like a video game at this point. It's like, oh, definitely. It's go like, to this okay, place, no, uh, learn boss, this thing, but do this. Gain the thing. Do this go favor. To the next place. Yeah. Click the click the character. Get the question mark quest and and do this thing, and then you can go to the next thing. Yeah. What is this planet? This is a this is a new planet. Yeah. It was a forest. It's supposed to be I, a forest planet. I, now it looks pretty uh, pretty gloom and doom there. Yeah, I think it's just California. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Mm. No. Or the uh, the, the <laughs> rainforest. Uh, yeah, it's bad. The and it doesn't really. I'm surprised they didn't say exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. There was no real explanation other than you know maybe a little bit of the magistrate lady and her people don't uh, don't like don't, don't play, do great don't do nice with uh they don't play nice at all they don't There's play like, nice like hey, do not play nice with the locals this lo- th- this planet's in a good location but uh I don't know about the people <laughs> here <laughs> right. Just, just melt them all. Move them out. Right. Uh, man, let's build this giant wall. You know what I loved about this fight, fight scene? Uh, I loved the the true, like, trickeration of Ahsoka in this. She was just, like, disappearing into shadows, popping up out of nowhere, she quick the, strike, uh... get out of the way, fade into the fog. Like, th- there were some sweet moves going on there. It was very hide in plain sight ninja stuff she that. did the obi-wan uh make a sound thing yes the, yes she did the yeah, old distraction sound. yeah click yeah. click noise over to the side yeah. now it's time to murder nice. to murder more murder i love that after the uh the first she murders that first person and then goes directly into the like classic ahsoka double lightsaber pose right they had to get the the shot you right. know it looks very get that shot in. reminiscent of classic ah- ahsoka in fact the whole thing sort of reminded me of a cartoon it seemed a little like they color graded it in a way that the colors were like i mean they were all muted but mm-hmm. they were there was like less shades it was like more like a cartoon to me is it because seeing the first guy at the beginning it looked like he was digital for a second the way that the animation was i mean it's not even animation but just the way they graded it to me he must have just created this whole thing like he would have created an episode of rebels or something in his head you know it was very just already thought out the whole thing gotcha yeah i didn't get i didn't i didn't i didn't get an animation vibe myself but i also wasn't looking for it i now i have to rewatch yeah yeah at the very beginning i just have to rewatch at the very beginning i was like are those real people or are they just cartoons you know that's what i was thinking i was like what is this yeah it's just the just the it's just a subtle thing the way they put effects on there it looks great i love it it's definitely one of the best episodes so far uh we get surprise fun cameo from from michael bain kyle reese from the terminator is that who that was is it can it's michael bain is his name michael bain Bain? well that's the actor's name i don't know what his actual character it's not michael kane michael bain no, Michael Caine is a completely different actor. <laughs> different He's one. much older, much British. So this was Kyle Reese. Okay. Uh, yeah, he, Kyle he looked Reese, familiar. Man. man. Yeah. He's looking a little older, but yeah. hey, doing his thing. That's great. They I, put him in something. 
Yeah, you know, jumping to the end there when uh, when when he's kind of got a showdown with the Mando, and he's like, "Look, this ain't our fight." Yeah, that was a great On scene. On one end, I was like, you know, he's got a point. Yeah, it's for himself, you know. If he if he just you know turns and walks away and then he tries to get the upper hand and obviously it doesn't, mm. but I he thought sh- that was cool. He should have known better, I think, before trying to attack him. But hundred percent, it wraps it up in a nice little bow, I guess. You're not in Rebels, so you haven't been watching Rebels. Correct. But- so uh, this is this is my question for you. I am in. Uh, I am halfway through season six of Clone Wars right now. So this magistrate is she a character in Rebels? That is a great, Have we seen her before? That's a great question. I'm not 100%, but I do know that Thrawn is in Rebels, for sure. Right, right. Um, that, uh, I, 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 I don't know, like, crazy amount of specifics, but I'm definitely, I definitely, like, frequent enough nerd websites to know generally who he is and that he is the main antagonist for Rebels. Uh, well, he's not so much the main antagonist the, oh, enti- really? the entire time. No, but okay. he's, like... He's like in charge of a uh, fleet, I guess, that sort of went away. Like they went farther, farther out to explore some things for the Emperor, mm. uh, for Palpatine. And I think they sort of dodged. Came, the, they came dodged back and found out that he was dead. They're yeah, like, they basically dodged whoops. the entire war by going out <laughs> so far and exploring some stuff. So when yeah. he comes, I guess when he comes back, like he just sort of decides to take it, take over. Is what it nice. looks like. So it looks like he's the big bad above, above whoever this magistrate is, and above Moff Gideon himself which makes a lot of sense. And, you know, they've, they changed his character quite a bit from the novelization of the books that came out before in the old timeline. Um, right. But he's pretty much the same guy in a way. And there's a new book about him, right? Yeah. They came out with a new book to fit him into this version of the star Wars universe. He's, uh, the, he's kind of a mysterious character. The only thing we know about him is very smart and he studies other cultures and their art. Uh, huh. and he's very strategic. So gotcha. that's really kind of where we're at with that. But it, it's so clear. Rebels doesn't give you much more than that. I'm holding some back, but it, it really doesn't go too far. It doesn't explore his character too too far, except for the fact that he has a lot of power and a lot of trust with the Emperor, and that he's mm-hmm. on like a an important mission, but far away. So I'll like get there eventually. Yeah, they're doing full circle <laughs> with the whole universe, so they're tying in a lot of stuff. I guess we should talk about this. the the uh, The elephant in the room is mm-hmm. that there's Jedi still after yeah. after that whole discussion from Yoda and uh, Obi-Wan ghost in episode five, was it five or six? Five. Oh yeah. wait, no six is where, where he says, no, there is There's another. another, there's another. Right. And now we're looking at a lot of another's. Right. Another's. Yeah. It, yeah. It definitely feels like Yoda and Obi-Wan put all their eggs in one basket and turns out maybe there's some other baskets out there. Maybe there's some other avenues that uh, they could have spent a little bit more time exploring. Well, what we should address, I think is, is the other, do they ever say that it was actually Leia, or was that a separate dialogue? You know what I mean? Did they ever no, say? No, I think. I mean, I think in the in the context of that movie, I think a hundred percent he is talking about Leia. And now, though, we know about this child who. Right. Yeah, I don't know that. Uh, I There's don't... a lot of Jedi going on right now. We've got the child. We've got Ahsoka, right. and we mm-hmm. potentially have Ezra Bridger, um, who is the Jedi right. in uh, Rebels. Right. So he could potentially still be around. We can talk about how the mission at the end of this, he's qu- he's quested. Uh, Ahsoka says she can't train him after they made a deal. And once again, somebody broke their promise with the Mandalorians becoming a recurring theme. Classic side game, whoever the, you know, yeah. It's kind of, I mean, I feel like they could have re they could have wrote that a little different. Like said, she could have said a line that didn't necessarily mean she was agreeing. And then she could then refer back to that line being. I said I would help or something like that. Not that I would train. I feel like in that moment, though, in that moment, I got the sense that she was like, okay, I'll do this. But then once, I think when she walked back to the ship and saw him, you know, basically cradling the baby Yod, then uh, I think that was like another another straw to be like, okay, you know what? I can't do this. This is a bad move. He's obviously attached to you. You're obviously attached to him. He My didn't... gut instinct was right. And I'm bailing on this project. But she didn't seem really upset that she was like, eh. Yeah, no, I don't think so. I, you know, I think because she gave him, she gave him an alternative. She was like, Hey, you, you can know, you can do this thing. other thing. You know, honestly, what I was, what, what I was personally hoping was that she would, you know, join their little caravan and then the three of them would move on to the next place. And then we would get some, well, she's but on that mission it, to find Thrawn. I mean, it's clear now. So she has right. her own mission, which right. is why she's got her own game going on. That's why she's not going to train. 
but they, I think that's more the issue. I think a, a part of the issue, it's like a, a twofold. She's got to find Thrawn and she doesn't have time, you know, and like you said, the attachment. Plus, you know, if, uh, if, if it's going to take 20 years for this child to grow into like a 10 year old, right. Or whatever, however, not, however the, the aging process works, who's got that kind of time? Yeah, not never. her. Yeah. She doesn't have it. Okay. Right. So she gives him a, a viable solution, go to a mountain and hope some Jedi show up. So, right. which is where we, Put which is where we end up. So who's going to show up? Are there more? Is there going to be like a, right? a mace window? Who knows? A mace window fell, fell out of the window, but he's fine situation. Like, are we going to see Luke? Are we going to? Yeah, true. He's still around. Uh, yeah. It could be a call to Luke. I don't know how much I'd love that. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. At that point is, yeah, mm, there's, there's a lot of possibilities. Could it, be somebody new that we've never heard of. That might actually be more beneficial. Right. Just have some new characters. But, oh, there's just like a random yeah. Jedi that made it, you know, some dude somewhere. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So if, if the idea is he goes to this planet, puts, puts the, the child on this stone, that sounds a lot like the stone Luke put Ray on in the Last Jedi. It is not. We know actually what this is from Rebels. I don't oh, want to be too okay. spoilery, but I mean, I think okay. I feel All like right. you probably need to know this. So there's like a temple, and Ezra, mm-hmm. the the Jedi, he goes to the top of this temple, and he meditates, and he actually talks to Yoda. Word. Yeah. And oh, that's great. It's just it's like a Jedi uh, telephone tuning fork. Tuning fork. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, right, because Yoda's Force, alive at this point. Force chat. Yoda yeah. is... No, wait. Uh, not in... Yeah, he is. Yoda's alive. Right, but not in, in the Mandalorian times. It's, af- it's after Return of the Jedi, so Yoda's dead at this point. He's no, Force no. Ghost. Oh, yeah. Yoda's dead now, but in when in Ezra Bridger does it in Rebels... Right, in Rebels, he's still he's alive. He's still alive, so it's a, it's, a, it's a real-time Force chat. Just, cool. Yeah, which we've seen also with uh, Rey and Kylo. It's a similar right. thing, but they, they kind of have to be in, like... You know, meditate. Uh, I guess like a certain who knows. They have to pick up. Right. They have to, to to go to the phone booth and then and then meditate. All right. So let's go back a little bit because we there's the the other big deal that we haven't talked about, which is Baby Yoda's got a name. Oh yeah, Gr- Grogu. 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 And he responds Here, to. Hold it. on. Wait. Yeah. You you say it. Grogu. Huh. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. I could watch that on repeat for 10 minutes straight. He's a uh, Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's the most... The Give most me a ab- puppet reacting to its own name. I'm in. And that's something else, too, in this episode. There's a lot of just, like, shots that sort of held on people for, like, an extended period of time. I don't know if it was to fill time or if it was just he wanted to get all the reaction shots, but it seemed like that that was, like, a thing in this episode. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, it was cool to see Ahsoka, too. I don't know, her head thing... Her ears or whatever, they seem a little right. smaller or something. Uh, yeah, I thought so too. I thought it was, um, yeah, a little like tighter to her head. Yeah, which I makes sense. If you're swinging around lightsabers, they probably don't want those flying around. But True. You know, I guess they shrink. True. I don't know. But uh, other than that, I thought the design was good. I thought they did the eyes well. You know, I feel like yeah. her eyes are huge in the cartoon. Yeah, I uh, think they... Not huge physically, but like as a, as a focal point, um, I thought they did well. And her voice too, like at the very beginning, she sounded exactly like Ashley Eckstein. Yeah. And then she morphed more into Rosario as the episode went along. Right. Um, I feel like that's how Ewan McGregor did it. Like his first couple of lines in the Phantom Menace were like Alec Guinness, a hundred percent. And then it softened after that. That's cool. Yeah. It's a cool way. So it's, it's not as jarring. Grogu. Grogu was in Coruscant. In the temple. During Order 66. Was he there? He got so, hidden so, away somehow. So somebody snuck him out. So maybe the the person that snuck him out might also be a Jedi. Maybe. I'm trying to think. Well, you know, I don't. I don't know who's still alive from uh, Clone Wars. I don't or know. Is Rex could be still like, around? Could Rex do it? Don't answer that question. <laughs> the answer is no. He was somewhere else. Ah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. If you tell me Rex died, man. No, I'm he was so just. Not, he was just okay. not there. It could be anybody. Like the. I don't know how how familiar are you with the idea that Mace is still around. Uh, not very, not very familiar at all. Well, we know Jedi have the ability to like jump really far and fall and land. Okay, so like he just fell out of the window. You know what I mean? Right. So yeah. like he, he, he could be all right. You know? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know he he got a he got a fair amount of uh, dark electrocuted, but yeah. it's Mace Windu. Yeah, I'm sure he can hang. You no, know, we should talk about is uh, the armor being yeah uh, that's exactly what i was about to say being uh the best car 
the best car is saber proof. Saber proof. Do we know that? Yeah, I don't think so. Yeah, that was pretty. Are we uh, recording? Yeah, I'm recording. Yeah. Okay, but, great. Yeah, then we should talk about this. <laughs> yeah, my wife was like, <laughs> "What?" She thought he was going to die. Like when when Ahsoka just brought the saber down on him. Yeah. She was like, "Whoa, whoa!" <laughs> she kind of jumped a yeah. little bit. Yeah. We did not have that information, as far as I am aware prior to that moment. i think they and mentioned i think they mentioned something about it like that's how they fought were able to fight jedi before was okay. the armor did they mention that in this was it this episode or another episode they mentioned that uh, i don't for, know for, no, i don't think it was in this episode for sure they mentioned it at some point that that's cool. how they were able to fight the jedi yeah uh, i thought it was great you know having it be a a non-invincible weapon you know and then introducing the spear later on i love that uh, i love the idea really of that. Really, really kind of brings it home. I loved it. Uh, it shows you like how tough Mandalorians are. Speaking of uh, the spear, what did you think about the magistrate when she was fighting um, Ahsoka? It seemed like I thought the f- the fight scene between the two of them was super rad. I really loved it. I thought what I uh, there was a couple things I found interesting. One, when Ahsoka loses her lightsaber, she still holds her other hand out as if she has it, like as right. if like th- her fighting style is so ingrained Um, in her yeah right it's so like predicated on having those two lightsabers that she still has to go through the motions and then and i thought it was really interesting how when she went to attack she still attacked with her backhand or switched the lightsaber to the to the backhand and then attacked that way i was like oh wow that's um i feel like defensively that's opening yourself up Mm -hmm. to getting hit with that spear but you know she made it work there were a lot Um, of spots so that there were a lot of spots yeah. where I feel like she was really struggling, which is strange. I'm, I'm uh, in my mind. I'm thinking, why don't you just force knock her down or something? You know what I mean? Like just mess her up. I mean, I feel like if I was, if I had the ability to push and move things with the, the force, I would be doing that 87% of the time. The other 13 would be lightsaber magic, mm-hmm. but it'd be a lot of just whoop, 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 <laughs> yeah. moving, knocking moving people and shaking. Down. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Like, and I'm going to push you, and I'm going to push you, and I'm going to push you, and turns out now I can move around freely. I mean, maybe I it... also looked up the the actress uh, because I was like, have I seen her in something before? She she kicked ass. And then I just looked her up on the Wikipedia, and she's a stunt person. That okay. is her main gig is being a stunt person. So I was like, oh, that makes a lot to... of sense. Yeah, yeah, that's pretty well, smart for for being primarily a stunt person. I think her acting was splendid. Yeah, well, we're not, you know, we're not one-sided human beings. We all do different things, you know, so. Right, no, she did a great job. Yeah, she did awesome. Yeah, I just, I wish if they were going to go that route, I wish they would have just showed on her face, maybe that she was not really, it wasn't so much effort, you know, she, she's so powerful. They showed her at mm-hmm. the beginning how powerful she is, you know, just like right taking taking guns out of people's hands and things like that. And then all of a sudden she, she's really struggling. So that's, that also spirit. made me wonder if, if this person, if this magistrate person has been built up in all of in like rebels to where it's just understood that she is a is a pretty bomb fighter in her own you know i thought it, i thought it was well done i really liked the fighting on the narrow narrow strip of concrete over the water that was cool the whole area where she lived you know she has the nice area and everybody else is like kind of struggling you know right mm-hmm. she's she's got the botanical gardens yeah she does i tell you as far as like cinematography goes that shot where Michael Bain realizes that Mandalorian and Ahsoka are working together when Ahsoka's just chilling on the roof in the background. Oh, that was cool. That was cool. That was such a good show. There were so many that good shots shot. that are just like, you could just yeah. snap a, sh- a picture, a frame. It could be a, a poster, you know? Absolutely. Absolutely. And of course, bones me out that there's probably only three more left in the season. Yeah. It's uh, speaking of which, like I was kind of expecting Moff Gideon to show up in this episode and like be the, you know, they have the tracker on his ship. So Right. You know, why Why didn't they get there already? What do you think about That's that? a good point. I didn't think about that at all, about having the tracker. Yeah, maybe, uh, why not? Why Why wouldn't they just go to where he is <clears throat> in full force? That was strange. Well, maybe they just are keeping their distance. Maybe they were there the whole time, just sort of off to the side. Like, True. Let's just see what happens, I guess. I mean, it, it, it would if they did show up, it would be obvious because of you know the planet. There's nothing there on the planet, so... Yeah, you know, maybe they're holding back. I, I'm not sure. That was strange that they hadn't caught up yet. <laughs> the squirrel shot. What? There was a squirrel? 
Yeah, there's like that squirrel looking animal that's in like uh, Clone Wars and, and it's always in the background, like running around. And they had a shot where they like in the middle of one of those fights, like they pan to the to an alley and the squirrel's like, hmm, squirrel. Uh, runs off. I'm going to have to I'm gonna rewatch that. <laughs> yeah, I, was, I missed that one. It's like that shot is so in, like d- serves no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> like, <laughs> that's uh, great. Just a scared squirrel. Oh, OK. Yeah. You know, I thought the way uh, when Ahsoka was finally got the best of the magistrate and she was like. Tell me where Grand Admiral Thrawn is. Just the way she said it felt a little too... uh, And I get it that for people who don't know who he is, I barely know who he is. You kind of have to set it up that, you know... I don't know, Just maybe just saying Grand Admiral was a bit too much for me. Like, where is Thrawn? I think would have been perfectly fine and a little bit more, a little less formal. A little little more uh, conversational. Yeah. I guess you just didn't yeah, want her to be a full title on a guy when you're, we all know who she's looking for. Maybe that's what it's for is for people that haven't been watching everything else. They understand that it's a, a big title. Right. For the audience more so than yeah. the magistrate, obviously. Yeah. Grand Admiral. That's a big title. Oh, I heard you got promoted to Grand Admiral. Yeah. You know, it's just normal Admiral for two years. I thought it wasn't going to happen, but <laughs> what, what's, what, uh, what are the perks? Oh, you get, uh, you get like a six percent bump when you get become Grand Admiral. There's only like four Grand Admirals in the whole Imperial fleet. Oh, really? That's cool. What's it like? What's 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 it like uh, getting promoted to Grand Admiral? I see. Mm. Regular Admiral wasn't enough. I think it's like the all. It's like the highest, right? The highest military position. Uh, there's think. only one. There's only one. I think so. I mean, you know what? You know what we need to see? We need to see an imperial org chart. Yeah. You yeah. Because everybody has, seems to have a title. The emperor, like, but then there's, you know, Governor Tarkin. And um, how do the Kylo Ren's fit in exactly? Oh, gosh. You know, like, how do the Vader's yeah. fit in? Like, because a Vader like, is not, Vader's his own. Like, yeah, it's almost like he's an independent contractor working outside of the system. Yeah. Like he's yeah. a, he's his, he's his own, he's like a diplomat or, you know. Yeah. It's like, just, you know, he, he's well, like, the executive, the right word. he's the executive assistant to the emperor. He's, he's not even participating in the, in the system though. He's like not even a citizen. He's like a, you know, he has his own country or whatever. Yeah. Something. Like he's independent. Like what is the far word? is his, is its own, uh, is its own, I don't know, not nationality. Yeah. He's like his own national. He's like a national of his right. know, Darth national. He, he's a walking embassy for himself. Yeah. So we're pretty, I guess we're pretty much done here. Well, I was curious, let's see, how does this connect to the Star Wars universe? Like in general, like, are we missing anything? No, no. I mean, like, you know, as far as like giant overarching things, you know, I think we've touched on all the big stuff, you know, who's going to, who's going to train Grogu? How's that going to work? Right. Does he get trained as a Mandalorian? You know, does he learn the way instead of the Jedi way? Does, yeah. he, is, does he end up becoming a mixture of both? I think that's kind of where we're headed. Yeah, because um, um, I could be wrong. Yeah, so Mandalorian is a creed, not necessarily. I would think if you were right. born on Mandalore, you would still be a Mandalorian. But it may, it's kind of like uh, it's like participating in the. It's like Scientology. <laughs> yeah, you sign up. Maybe there's like it's maybe there's like Mandaloria and Mandalori. You know, like there's like just a slightly different spelling. You know. Like, yeah. the, like the United States of America corporation. And then there's America, you know, like it's like two different things, but you don't really realize it. Like one is different. Than the other one, the good. Oh, what about the ball? So, so the fact that he'll, you only use the force if the child, uh, I think, you yeah. know, I think if, if, if they had given it a little bit more time, I think, I think, if, you know, they only worked on it for two minutes. Yeah. And then, you know, I think the Ahsoka was kind of pressed for time. I yeah. was like, look, I just, I just want to gauge. I just want to gauge where you're at. So try to move this stone for me. And he's like, nah. And then Mando comes in and is like, I know you love this ball. And what about the What about the mind talking? If you gave, it, yeah, I mean, I, I, I thought that was fine. I, 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 don't, I don't feel like that's uh, outside of the realm of Jedi possibilities. And for a nonverbal character, sure does help. Yeah, because sure they're handy. Does help. Yeah. <laughs> real, handy. Real handy from a storytelling standpoint. Yeah. Oh, he's fine. He knows. His name's Grogu. Don't you know? Yeah. Didn't you huh? know that? You didn't see his name tag? Yeah, no, it was a great episode. Uh, I think it, it it definitely opened some things up. Oh man, I had some real questions about who the magistrate was working for. Yeah, why don't we look? Uh, you want to look it up? Don't say uh, nothing. One of the chief architects of the Empire's war machine, 
So she's super rich, apparently. She was instrumental in construction of the Imperial Navy. Let's see. I'm trying to see where she's at. Her first appearance was in this show. So she she's a character that has existed for a while, but they she's brand new for the show. That's good. I, I feel like they probably could have brought in a character. Like you said, it seemed like you had heard of this character before. Like could have brought mm-hmm. somebody from the Clone Wars up to date, but maybe uh, just make somebody new is fine too. New characters are good. Yeah. Uh, so I probably have to cut all that out. <laughs> See, oh no, keep it in. Why not? No. <laughs> let's let the people. Let's give them what they want. Us looking stuff up on the internet. Yeah, that's exciting. Hey, real quick. Uh, since since we've pretty much finished the episode stuff. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Solo, a Star Wars story? We've never talked about this. Um, it was fine. I mean, it wasn't like amazing. Like, I, mm-hmm. it was a good movie, I guess. Like, I and once again. Do you wish that they that they made more of them to actually close that story arc on that would be uh, nice. Hera and Han and Maul. That was cool. And Maul, right? Yeah. Well, it 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 seemed completely inappropriate from the movie point of view. So if they were gonna do something, they should have they should have for sure had another episode. Well, I think if if it had made more money, they would have. <laughs> I think they were they were ready to ro- pull the trigger on that one. It just didn't make enough money for them to. I, I heard there were a lot of there was a lot of trouble on that set. Right. Well, it, yeah, it switched from being the, um, oh gosh, the guys who did, uh, the, the Lego the movie, Lego movie, the Lego yeah. movie. Yeah. So Why it probably would have been, been, it probably would have been, would have been hilarious. A parody of itself. Yeah. It could have been like a real wink, wink, nod at itself, which right. might have worked. Lord and Miller. That's their names. Yeah. I, I just don't think they were ready to go there with Star Wars universe, like a jokey, right thing and then ron howard comes in and just puts his paint on it you know just real she, middle of the road yeah just real <laughs> <laughs> it's basic plot points yeah hey, you know what ron howard's not gonna do ruffle any feathers I, i'm gonna say it again they had a, a space octopus uh-huh and you know where octopuses octopi live right oh your water theory. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, buddy. My space is water theory. Just another uh, piece of evidence that that is kind of where they were going with it. I think they've changed it since in Mandalorian. Mm-hmm. It looks more like a traditional view of uh, space as we know the, it. The void. Yeah. The vacuum that somehow does not suck off the atmosphere. Uh, mm-hmm. But yeah, it was a good movie. It was a good movie. I, I didn't think it did anything original. Like There wasn't like a whole lot of... Like, oh, yeah. wow, this is something I never would have thought. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's just right. like a regular story. I, I don't yeah, know. it was a very, it was a very regular story. Um, I think the, the all-star was Lando. I thought yeah. he did a great job. I, liked, I thought he did a great job. Uh, I like, what's his name? Cheers guy. What's his name? God, Woody Harrelson. Woody Harrelson? Yeah, that was nice. Yeah. That was nice. You know, I, I feel like uh, a lot of the setup was, oh, Woody Harrelson was like, um han solo's mentor right yeah but i feel like they only they really only did one mission together one and a half missions together he was his mentor by like proxy you know just because he was there that is like a that that was a that was a two-month misleading internship yeah Yeah, and then they have to like the train heist you know i mean it was right it was fun yeah Um, it was fun yeah that's really all i can say is like it was a fun movie but like it's not a a fun movie i would honestly i wouldn't mind another one I wouldn't mind another. I wouldn't one. mind another one. I think they were really. I wouldn't. I wouldn't kick another Star Wars movie out of bed. I wouldn't do that. What they were kind of showing with that group was like the, the you know, sort of a secret society type group, you know, with the ring and everything. Like that was cool. Like they're right. they're sort of exposing yeah, everything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're sort of exposing the, uh, the what how things really happen and work. You know, which was cool. Like a, a Star Wars version of that. And it, it would have been cool to see Maul like in charge of all that. That would have been really right. interesting. Absolutely, especially now that. In seeing where he's at in the middle of Clone Wars, once Savage comes in, you know, heals him up a little bit, you know, and his whole taking over the underground as a as a um, as a goal, and then seeing that come to fruition at the end of Solo, that was rad. It was cool. hey way to way to accomplish your goal. And and it could have been, it could have been. Who do they think it was going to be before? They thought that transmission was going to be someone else. I think originally. Oh really? Yeah, I think originally they were going to put, like, uh, I don't know if they are going to put a Jabba or something. Like, they were going to put something else. Uh, one of uh, I think it was going to be a totally different thing. And then um, I think they wanted to connect it to what was going on. So Gotcha. Um, which 
is more intriguing. Like if they decided to do that, they should they could have dropped a lot more along the way about it with her definitely Kira. Yeah, her story would have been super interesting to to see the next definitely. Yeah, but the then it goes movie, it goes away if, from solo. It becomes the the Kira story, but right, that's true. It, it was the, interesting. If the next movie had explored kind of how she got into how she got off of Karelia and mm-hmm. into uh, the service of Paul Bettany's character. Also, I would love to have seen what that what the original character was with uh, Michael K. Williams, because he was originally that got recast. Oh. That was originally played by. Uh, Michael K. Williams, Omar from The Wire. If you watched that, mm-hmm. then maybe it was just too um, too comedy. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. I think he was also supposed to be more of like a um, like some sort of like alien type character. So I don't know how much of his actual face it was going to be, or if it was more of like a digital character. But I they I'm, make, I'm intrigued. Yeah. I would like to see the art on that one day. Yeah, they really like they if made it. it ever makes they it, made the story you know, more about her than day. Han to me. The interesting thing about Solo was more the intriguing Kira. part. Yeah. The, yeah, the intriguing part. Well, that's because you know so little about her, whereas you know so much about Han. Right, right. And the you shooting know, first... It doesn't leave a whole lot... Oh, yeah. The shooting first lesson. <laughs> it's pretty... Yeah, the shooting first lesson. Mm-hmm. That, that, that's yep. where he was his mentor. That was the lesson. That, that's where he learned it. Mm-hmm. Shoot first. Yeah, ass later. In my heart, Han shot first. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. Anything else there? We didn't mention the blue macaroons. I thought that was important. Oh, right. Yeah, in that last episode. episode, we did not talk about it. That was a huge, huge misstep. It's funny that this episode has so much going on. And the last episode, I mean, it had a lot going on, too. But, but it didn't really move the plot forward. Like, well, except for, right. the, well, that exposition and all that stuff at the end. But for the most mm-hmm. part of the episode, it was just sort of a, let's go tackle this obstacle right. situation. But yeah, him... Uh, Grogu, huh? Hmm? Uh, stealing, stealing the the blue macaroons. Yeah, from Use, the from using the, kid the at school. Using, using belly, using the force to steal them. Using a force. Did I say belly? I meant bully. He's bully. a bully. He's a bully. He's a bully. Yeah, he was uh, doing that. He's force force stealing. Taking your lunch money with the force. Do you lose like force points? Like, do your midichlorian like start to turn dark? Is it like karma? Like, how does it work? Mm, yeah, does he go dark? They never really explain the like. Uh, we can talk about this as relative to, um, uh, related to this episode. The um, are there dark midi chlorians versus light midi chlorians? Oh, oh, how uh, Soka was saying attachment. The attachment is like such a bad mm-hmm. thing. Like caring about other people, it's is the bad thing. And I always thought that was so strange. Like that caring about another person is like leads to the dark side of the force. Right. Well, it's the fear of losing them. The fear of losing them, not so much the caring about them. Or fear the loving leads to them. anger. Anger leads to something. Mm. I don't remember. Yeah, but you can say. I think anything. I would know that by now. It's pseudo logic is what it is. It's not right. Real. No, it's it, yeah. Uh, like Luke said, in the middle of of their height, you know, of power, they let a Sith Lord literally come in and take over the entire Senate. Right. <laughs> so, so you know, there's it's another if, group of if, people that's in a cult. If anything, you know, this this teaches us that we should look for balance. Yeah, I'm I'm right there with you. I'm right there with you. Yeah. That's such an important lesson. I think I can't wait to have kids to show Star Wars to my kids. I think that'd be fun. Oh yeah, yeah. What order are you going to show them to them? Four, five, six. I think because they're smaller, I probably will go in order because chronological. Clone, yeah, because Phantom yeah. Menace really was for kids. And uh, be a good introduction. I can't believe I'm good, saying good that out loud. Point. Yeah, I can't believe I'm saying it out loud. <laughs> but uh, right. it might make more sense that way. And then they can see that it's actually a story about the Emperor. What I oh yeah, hundred percent. Yeah, it is a nine nine movie Emperor storyline. Mm-hmm. Isn't that uh, wild? They really oh, totally yeah. reframed the entire. They reframed the entire thing with the last three movies. Again, yeah. like four, five, well, and six. Really just four, five, really and six. The, from our point of view, movie. four, five. Here, when it came out, four, five, six was about Luke, and when mm-hmm. one, two, three came out, it was all of a sudden about Vader. And then right. we, you, then it framed the entire situation as a Vader story. Now uh, with, yeah. with seven, eight, nine, it it's the uh, Palpatine story. And then you go back, and now you watch one, and now the whole thing is a Palpatine story. I I would also say. You can also watch it through the lens of uh, four, five, six are about Luke, one, two, three are about Anakin, seven, eight, nine are about Kylo. Who knows what? <laughs> yeah, Kylo. no, I, like the, yeah. the Kylo is is his his um, 
his, his arc, battle yeah. between the light and the dark is the most important. It's the most important thing, I think. I mean, we knew from the get that he was going to be the sacrificial lamb from his lightsaber. His lightsaber is a cross, so we knew that he would sacrifice himself. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. I knew. I thought about that before the. I even saw the nope. first one. Okay. Nope. I just thought they were like, oh, you know what? How do we? <laughs> this looks like, cool. How every, do we make a new every, lightsaber? How do we make a new dark lightsaber? Because it started with Maul. It was like, oh, double lightsaber. Okay. And then you go to Dooku, and he's got the curved handles. So then, you know, how do you mix it up next time? All right, let's give him some some crossbars. Yeah, JJ said from the get that it, it was integral to his character. Missed it. Mm. I, I thought the 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 part about his crystal being fractured and it being an unstable thing, mm. I, I did catch that, that that was a part of his character. Whole character, yeah. Uh, but no, the actual no, cross. I didn't get the cross. Mm-hmm. It's right there in front of me the whole time. The whole time. It all is. Man. Uh, hey, the Ahsoka's, have been lifted. Ahsoka's lightsabers are white. That was rad. Yeah. Does that get explained at some point? Yeah, I think so. I think um, in Clone Wars, a rebel. Because in Clone she, Wars, they're like yellow. One's yellow and one's green. Yeah, yeah no, she gets white ones uh, later. Well, okay. cool, man. We got three more episodes of this show left. I'm pretty jazzed about that. Yeah. Excited about getting uh, back to music episodes. Yep. Definitely. Definitely. And I um, might, uh, if I can get around to editing the other one, uh, we might have two episodes this week. Word. Yeah, it'd be cool to get that out to the to the two or three people that listen on a regular basis. Heck uh, yeah. I did want to say thank you to those people. <laughs> thank Thanks, you. Thanks, guys. Uh, it's cool. It's, it, it, it means a lot that people are, that, you know, a couple of people are actually listening to this. And so. if they tell two friends, and, and they, they tell, tell two friends, two, yeah. And they tell two friends, yeah. You can start, you can start we'll your own cult. 20 people. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, All right, man. Yeah, uh, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna give this 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 episode a a plus. Yeah, I would definitely say it's like a four and a half star episode. We'll watch again. You Actually, af- after I watched it last night, I immediately started started it from the beginning so that I could watch that first fight scene. That again. first fight scene was dope. so rad. Yeah, yeah so she good. Was like, uh, used every force power that we know about, like you know, for the most part. Right, like, right, mm, right. She didn't project herself to another planet. Well, not well, <laughs> minus the uh, you know the force chat and the uh projection but i mean you know in general like fighting style force stuff she just she went all out and the the, the cutting the tree in half and then using the tree that was using the part of the tree how cool was that and that's that's a thing you can only do if you if you're wielding two lightsabers at a time true story yeah otherwise you gotta hack and then come back to get the full chunk of the tree that's that's way more time uh thank you uh thanks again for listening thank you ben appreciate you thank you and thank you jacob thank you whoever's listening hey do us a favor give us a review write a comment mm-hmm. all of the things yeah do all the things it's cool that we have sound. a we have a couple of uh five star reviews already that's great word we appreciate it thank you that's great and uh we'll see you next time in the next episode sounds great <laughs>